A310 は A303 を殺さなかったその強さと優しさは僕に僕のカレンが生まれ変わったと感じさせただが生まれ変わりなんてものは科学では説明できないそう A310 が僕のカレンと関係がある証拠がないのだでも A310 は特別だだから孫娘にすることに決めた名前はテレサと名付けた1972年3月28日エヴァーラスティングメモリー So far this is the shortest extra chapter to ever come out We were actually given kind of like a pace to follow because this chapter like the latest chapter Dilemma Dreamland wasn't made available all at once There are no exploration stages in this chapter. Each area only has four stages, and there are only two difficulties normal and hard. There are what are known as secret stages, or EX stages, but they're only available in hard difficulty, and there are only four of them. What's interesting about this chapter is that instead of the usual 20, you only need 15 stamina points for hard stages. That, however, is with the exception of the four EX stages. So, with all that in mind, the stamina cost for normal will be 160, 240 for hard, and 80 for the EX stages. The great thing about this chapter is that you only have to clear every stage once. There are no objectives that require you to clear any stage more than once. But there are, however, hidden objectives for hard difficulty, which is basically not taking more than 5 hits on the hard stages and to not allow the story to reset that you're protecting. To fall below a certain percentage of HP. So, if you can do all of that in the first try, the amount of stamina you have to spend to complete the entire chapter is only 480. That is truly incredible. I mean, if you compare it to the previous two chapters. So, again, if you want to be spending crystals to get all that stamina, it will only cost you 200 crystals. So, anyway, let's go on to the rewards. So, given that there are only 16 stages for each normal and hard, I'll add them together and get 32 stages. Multiply that by 15 and we'll get 480. Then comes the 4 EX stages. What's cool about them is that they give 10 crystals per objective. So you get 30 per stage and times 4, that gives you 120 crystals. So adding those together, you get 600 crystals in total. And then we have the extra objectives. So for each area, in normal, you get 30 crystals. And in hard, you get 45 crystals. And once you complete Everlasting Memory, you get 100 crystals. Adding those three numbers gives you 400 crystals. So in total from this chapter alone, we can get 1000 crystals. And that's only at the cost of 480 stamina. Hashtag worth. And of course, let's not forget the emblem. But that's not all. From this chapter, we also get a ton of Valkyrie Pledge Fragments. How many exactly? 50. One from each normal area, 5 from each heart area, and 10 from the last objective. We also get one for every first time clear in normal stages. And that's not all. The materials obtained from this chapter can be used to purchase various items. This is where we obtain the Teresa Origins Top Sigmata. It's also possible to obtain Seal Volray's Bottom Sigmata and one pledge fragment per day. But bear in mind, if you do so, it'll have to be kind of a daily thing because the stages only refresh once per day. Also, it'll cost you a lot more stamina than 480, and you won't be getting any crystals as your rewards. And there we have it, my fellow captains. By far the shortest extra chapter, and a chance to get some insight on Teresa's backstory. So, once again guys, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more content.